Should you lie on your CV when applying for jobs? Or should you be completely honest and never risk getting caught? I was chatting to a friend the other day who does contract jobs. This is what he told me. He buffs out his resume to give himself more years of experience doing cooler things. He's not a bad programmer in the first place, but he's cautious not to overstep his ability and so he picks jobs where they pay for quality, not complexity. Therefore, he can always get the stuff done. He said that he has been caught in the interview phase once or twice, never during a contract. And when he has been caught, it doesn't matter matter because someone else hires him in a heartbeat. Is this fair? What do you think? Personally, I think that as long as you can get the job done and that you're not flat out lying about your ability to do it, then you can just stretch the truth a bit because in the end, the job will get done and you're not really jeopardizing the project. And this is an example of a fair use of stretching the truth. And don't lie about where you work because that can easily be revealed in a background check. I've been bosses and references for former co-workers and or friends who I've worked with and know what they're capable of but had circumstances work against them. Again, if they're perfectly capable of doing the job and you just help out a friend, why wouldn't you do it? Especially with references because everybody wants their friends to be the references. Why would you ever add someone that is not 100% on your side or someone that you had a bad experience with? I worked with a career counselor and the resume coach told me straight up it was fine to lie about some stuff like job titles for example as long as you weren't going to list that employer as a reference. Job titles are completely useless because many companies what they're gonna do they're gonna end up changing the job description during your time there anyway. The same with job titles because nowadays companies inflate this because it's easier for them to give you a fancy title instead of giving you a raise. So everyone is some sort of manager slash lead slash head of something. Recruiter here. Most job postings are guidelines instead of a hard rule. If I ask for five years experience, I expect people with less to apply. It's to without those who have little to no experience. Just don't lie about skills you have. All companies expect you to lie or bend the truth to a certain extent because they do it as well so they cannot expect complete honesty but what they do expect is that you can fool them nicely in the sense that if you bend the truth at least show that you have the skills at that point it would be a plus for you because you're an actual good salesman of your own abilities now nobody's gonna admit that because everybody says that they expect complete honesty and they will always say that they're completely honest themselves but we live in reality guys and you cannot really trust what people say when their job depends on it. Whenever your job depends on someone else, you're gonna bend and you're gonna twist and you're gonna change your views so that you don't upset the hand that feeds you. He's reached the point where he no longer has to fake his resume. This is it, fake it until you make it. I see this everywhere and companies are doing this all the time. How do you think they win client contracts? by being completely transparent. Well, we don't really have experience deploying Gen AI models to production and the most that we've done was to deploy ARM templates of an existing AI solution. Also, we're gonna upsell junior engineers on the team because the margins are higher. Nobody's gonna say that. And the same with you, right? You cannot really sell yourself short because look at all the Indian companies that Western companies outsource to, right? Do you think that any of those companies or any of those engineers are gonna say that they don't have experience with what you need them to have experience with? Do you have Terraform experience? Yes. CI CD? Yes. Generative AI implementations? Yes. There's nothing that the company cannot do for you. So why would you say that you cannot do it as well? If you applied for it, that means you at least assume the responsibility that you can deliver. And that's the limit, okay? Never apply to something that you think you cannot really do. But otherwise, just like a company, you're an economic unit to a client or to an employer. So act as an economic unit and look out for your own interest. I always lie on CV, different application, different lie. Then I go to an interview and they lie to me about progress, opportunities, training, etc. That's how it works. That's how it works. And in the end, you cannot really blame the company for the bait and switch because most likely you also stretch the truth as well. And speaking about companies, what is the biggest problem in today's job market? I know that there are many, but the biggest problem is the rise of ghost jobs. But it turns out all those open job postings that you see online might not even be real. Not even real, but if they're interviewing you for them, aren't they lying? about the great opportunities and about the great projects and about the great team that you're going to be joining if you're going to be successful. Four in 10 companies posted fake job listings in 2024 and three in 10 are currently advertising for a role that isn't real. 30% of the job postings that you see out there aren't real. So why not do the same when you apply for them? Because if companies are not being transparent, then why should you be? 
as a job applicant, right? Why would you be so careful not to exaggerate at all? Those jobs are actually not scams. They are openings that don't actually exist. So how aren't they scams? Because they're hiring for jobs that don't exist. I think this is gaslighting. I think we're seeing a lot of ghost jobs lately for the same reason that I think a lot of people keep their Tinder profiles up even if they're not actively looking for a relationship. This is so wrong on so many levels. Your livelihood depends on you finding a job. It's not the same for Tinder because that's just sport fishing. It's not for real relationships. No wonder people lie on their resume because listen, if we're comparing it to Tinder right now, okay, let's compare it. Tell me one person that has a transparent Tinder profile. Come on, avid hiker who loves spontaneous adventures. You barely leave the city. Fluent in Spanish. One cerveza por favor. Loves to travel. You went to Greece three years ago. And just like a CV's objective, on Tinder you're looking for something casual. You know, not for the love of your life or on the opposite side, let's say a simple one night stand. No, you always play it cool. So let's not turn job searching into the same mess that dating became. Some companies, they have no idea what is a salary, what are the skill sets in demand. So they probably are posting to get that data. So why shouldn't you do the same? See what they think and expect and then tailor your CV based on their expectations. The thing is that if both parties are doing the same, and none of them know exactly what they're expecting and what they should be doing, then it's bad for jobs overall because there's no objective criteria to assess whether you actually achieve that job's goal. You're both just making things up as you go along. I see that a lot nowadays. This one says it all. Buddy of mine completely lied in his job search and he ended up getting tons of interviews and almost tripling his salary. 85k to 230k. He learned what companies wanted, he then tailored his CV and as he was failing interviews, he was learning the things that he failed at and soon he started getting offers. It's fair game. Use those companies to learn about what they need and then learn those things, you know? But the trick is to get interviews. So all you need to do is to exaggerate a bit at the beginning and get those interviews. See what they need and next time be more prepared. It's so simple, right? Here's a comment that I liked. I did it much before LinkedIn. Went to 20 interviews in a week, learned what they asked, and next week I got a better job with twice better payment than wanted initially. It was around 2012. As long as you can get enough interviews so that you can learn from them relatively fast, then this is 100% doable. So you definitely need to leverage anything that you can in order to get the job that you want. The truth is, is that everybody lies until they make it, you know, and then they can just exaggerate a bit here and there. Candidates, hiring managers, CEOs, they all lie and they all twist the truth. So get off your high horse, you know, that you're transparent and that's a quality that people should appreciate. I agree that they should, but most of the times they don't. And in today's world, being transparent is just standing in your way to get what you want. Please contradict me on this one, guys. I would love to be wrong and definitely let me know what you think, all right? And if you want me to talk more about ghost jobs, let me know down in the comments. Also, check out getthatbadge.com if you're looking to get cloud certified and get a job as a cloud engineer. And if you like what you heard, please like, share, and subscribe. I will see you in the next one.